Hello guys, it's me, Games with Will. And today guys, we'll be using the underrated Slacker Slash Soul and showing how it could be useful in both regular yokai battles and in boss fights. So if you haven't heard of the Slacker Slash Soul, its stat section basically says, quoted, sends back some damage to enemy. Specifically, it reflects back a quarter of the physical damage the holder just took. This could be useful since the damage directly goes to the health bar, not being affected by the opposing yokai's defense stat. And when versing bosses with insane defense stats such as Cat Cradle or competitive yokai teams, this soul can really help out. Believing this, I formed a team built on Tanbo's horrible skill, known as Careless. In the team, Tanbo is equipped with two Slacker Slash souls, meaning that whenever he gets hit with a physical attack, he'll reflect back 50% damage to the opposing yokai. Careless greatly increases the likelihood of the owner being hit with a crit, making the soul gems deal back even more damage. But anyways, here's the full team. Summoning legendary! Now let's go fight some bosses, guys. Round one, glitchy bones. Right over here, man. The strat that we're gonna be doing over here, man. We got some um, the epic E rank, known as. Lidoni, yes. So we have Bron Lidoni over here, man, our bestie. And Lidoni will be inspiriting Tanbo over here, making sure that all the damage will be going to Tanbo and reflected to this fellow over here, man. As you just win this ray over there, fellas, 50 damage there, 50 damage back, 100 damage in total over here, man. Dealt the glitzy bones um, immediately. And I don't think that um, little shield that he has in his little face over there, man, although it may look right now as um as if like the little skull right over there man is doing is taking all the hits and like decreasing the amount of damage that it should be doing that's actually cat man like you can see that total dude right over there is doing no damage tanbo is doing nothing um but it's it's like doing direct damage to his health when we're doing the freaking slack slash hole, which is absolutely amazing man 100 damage back and forth like that's what, was that over 50% actually? That would be like 60 some percent or something like that. Like we can see 170 damage right over there. And that would be 88 damage in total, which is actually pretty crazy, man. But as we fight bosses, if you like fight Cat Cradle, Cabo King and whatnot, it's actually going to go absolutely insane, man. With um, the amounts that is going to be dealt back over there, man. And it can actually be a game changer for Paradise Ball grinding. Trust. <laughs> um, I'm sure that other fellows over there, man, could make the team a bit better over here, man. To increase this whole scene and um, hopefully make it more effective, man. I I mean I've tried my best over here. Um, you could also go with like Minochi, Mochismo, maybe even a Lionheart or something like that instead of a tank, man. I personally like Tanmo though since it's kind of unique, you know, man. Not a lot of folks um, I see using the using him as a tank over there, man. Mainly because he sucks. And the fellas that I do see him using really only just put, like, double cursed staffs and whatnot, man. <laughs> cursed staffs. Um, cursed swords over there, man. Just make him into some sort of an attacker, man. Even though, like, even when you do do that kind of stuff, he still kind of does suck, man. And that's... That's why we like him here. Oh, crit! There it is, guys! Crits, that means that we're dealing 150 damage. Okay, so it's exactly half over there, man. Exactly half that we're doing. So this is true. It is 25%. Okay, that is amazing over there, man. It is amazing. And that's um the final damage outfit. Like, if there's, like, some guy attached, like, five times or something like that, just add that up. Freaking 25% of that. Knock back two times. 50%. I, I know that it kind of sounds complicated, man. Um, I really got no clue I'm talking about it as well, man. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm trying to explain this the best way I can. With the limited knowledge that I do have, man. Um, but yeah. Go Tanbo! Alright, here it is, fellas. Glitzy Bounds taken down with the freaking strat, man. you love to see it. Um, and yeah, man. Uh, I guess... <laughs> I guess let's move on to another boss, man. Keep on going until we start failing with the strat over here, man. Round two. 
Cow King! All right, fellas, and here we are at the Kaibuki Theater Underground, which for some reason we're jumping straight to Cow King over here, man. <laughs> God damn. Um, but yeah, I, I actually haven't fought Cow King in quite a long while over here, man. Uh, like ever since it was freaking seven months ago or something like that. I used to do, I, I used to try out some grinding for some special souls or something like that, man. Like the freaking Pananoko soul or something like that. But, um, let's see how this goes. Lidoni, back with the in spirit. You'd love to see it, man. Um, he'll always be doing that since we also do have the no loafing soul on him. But I really hope that Tanbu can hopefully, um, be reflecting some of the hits over here. Yes! 56, okay. Okay, not as much as we saw previously, man. But trust, as Cobble King over here, man, just keeps stacking up that little, um, craps, dance the eight droid, it's crazy, man. All stats, um, just down once. I, I swore it was way down. Um, but, uh, yes! Yes! There's it, three crits, three crits. 80 damage each. 80 damage each. Okay, okay. You'll love to see it, man. You'll love to see it. And um, the more he stacks these Dance of Eight Droids, I think he can do it like four or so times, man. Um, and then it will be maxed out over there, man. But the more he does this crap, man, Tanbo will be taking more damage. And that means more damage reflected, baby. But yeah. Oh, small umbrella. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's why. That's, that's, that's probably why people don't use Tanbo as a tank. But it's okay. I have Mighty Medicines. Six. Damn. Okay, it's all good, guys. It's all good, man. Trust, it's gonna work out eventually. Oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Never mind, guys. I, I forgot that Lee Doni needs to spare these spells. Okay. Hey, the eighth. No, my speed. Um. Oh, that was stupid. Now Lee Doni's not gonna inspire Tanda. Uh, why did I do that? Lee Doni survive? <laughs> Level 20 Lidoni. <laughs> yeah. uh. Okay, guys. I've learned the weakness of this team. So, when when Tanbo dies, Fella ain't in spoon anymore. Which means that Cabo King can have a good old fun time with punching a loom knock, total dude, and all this crap, man. Which we don't like this. We don't like that, man. Because total dude ain't reflecting crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. So, n now I guess... When this stuff happens, you just gotta pray. You just gotta hope that hopefully Cobble King will become stupid and start attacking Tanbo, even though he has full HP and normally he targets the fellas with low HP. Damn. Well, I've learned my lesson. Frick you. Round three, Orcanos! All right, fellas, why not give Orcanos a shot? You know, man, it can't really hurt. Orcanos, one of the strongest bosses in the entirety of Yokai Watch 2 Psych Specters, especially in the sports club mode. Um, but it's all good, since we have like a fully healing, gradually healing team, man. Let's see how much damage we can reflect with one Orcanos hit, hopefully, man. Lee Doni, thank you so much. You'd love to see it, man. Um, so two things. Orcanos has Drain, and Orcanos has Normal Hit. We're hoping that we get Normal Hit. 237, 59. Okay, okay, okay. If that created, I wonder if that would have killed, actually. Maybe that would have. Oh, okay, Tanbo coming in with the clutch. 59, 59 again. Yes, sir. Um, 108 total, I imagine. Um, okay. Total dude taking all the hits now because this fella just inspired himself for some reason. You'd love to see it. W mans. Okay, he's taking the hits. Th this means that um, Tanbo can hopefully heal up a bit, man. Get some of that beautiful um, hits back in there. Okay, never mind. Total dude is getting um, bullied right now, man. Okay, Tanbo. Oh, okay. Crits do hit over there, man. Okay. Round four. Catacanadal. 
Okay, fellas, so can we prove that the slack slash soul actually has some use on the boss where this would probably have the most use on? Cat Cradle. Just ignore that this fella has top techniques. Uh, I mean, <laughs> top techniques, uh, I mean, uh, magic, wind, fire, water, and earth sometimes. Yeah, I ignoring all those factors over there, man. Let's see if Tamo could actually do well. Well, uh, actually, we could sort of make this team a whole lot better if only we had some okay hits never mind i forgot that this fell is two turns in a row okay yut um wop, wop. trust trust fellas okay have trust in the process round two let's see it tanbo Please survive a single attack from Cat Cradle. Well, actually, you need to survive two attacks from Cat Cradle. Hopefully, Cat Cradle will just inspirit us after hitting you. Or do that as well. Please hit Tanbo with physical attacks. Because that would be really nice. So I get to see if Tanbo can break through your somewhat shield. Oh, no. Oh! I remember now. Tanbo, you don't have the inspirit. Why are all my friends stacking t t Tanbo? Um, brother? Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Trust. Marble Beef. Coming in clutch. Please kill Loomnox. Please kill, kill Toodle, Total Dude. And don't kill Tanbo so I can heal him up once more. And then, um, hopefully we're good to go. Oh, Puppet Strings. Okay, Tanbo's also resisting that. you love to see it, guys. Coming in clutch. Machi on Soul. I don't like to see that, to be honest with you, but Alum got to coming in clutch once again, saving the day, our hero, our savior, the golden man. That's not good. Please don't do super effective damage. Okay, even if it does do super effective damage, please live through. Okay, he lives through one. Slacker Slash Soul. Slacker Slash Soul does break the freaking barrier when it comes down to Cat Cradle, man. That is good to know. Despite it doing like 100 damage. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. Trust in the process. If we had 99 Mighty Medicines, a whole bunch of luck, and Illuminox gaining the power of the Paradise technique, we could do very well. We could actually dominate Cat Cradle and whoop his bottom. His? Hers? I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah. Go ahead, Illuminox. Let's see this, fam. Let, let me actually... I, I can use Sultanates. I forgot. Why, why did... I, I don't know why I forgot that. Um, oh, frick. Well, I, I lured this... Oh, no. He's using Enlightenment. Uh... Womp womp. Game over. Oh, never mind. Tanmo coming in clutch. Uh, you know what, Tanmo? You know what, Tanmo? Just for you, man. I will put... This. I, I I will make you die. But you got another chance with Mighty Medicine. I thought I thought it was legit gonna miss that for a second, man. Um Lidoni! Lidoni coming in clutch! Can we pull off the Lidoni soul to, to do 999 damage to Cat Cradle two times? Ah! 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 Moral of the story, guys. Slacker Slash Soul does not work. Well, it does work, and it works perfectly. But sadly, uh, Tanbo? Ah. Ah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all learned that Tanbo sucks at sucking to be a tank for the Slacker Slash Soul strat. And to let you know, although I believe that the Slacker Slash Souls could work on bosses, such as Spook, Luck, and Phantasmari and such, I've tested out to absolutely no avail. Sadly, it doesn't work on bosses that haven't revealed their hitbox or something weird like that. But yeah, if you have any recommendations or found anything interesting, please let me know in the comments down below or on the Discord. Link is in description. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and yeah dudes, peace! We're coming strong, the zone is so fierce Games with will, let's conquer the universe With every battle